All right, it's World 2 time. Niagara Falls in my bedroom. Yeah, literally. And like some days, I guess it's not so bad. Just in the sense that it's it doesn't wake me up at 6 in the morning. But I have no control over what time it starts happening or anything like that. So... That was unfortunate. Oh, man. You know, back in the day before I started playing Mario Maker, I thought that these Parabeetle levels were the worst. But honestly, once you discover like dark levels and stuff like that, these Parabeetles, honestly not that bad in comparison. Alright. Hopefully I didn't jump on the snake too early. Oh god, that was close. Alright, are we going down? Do I have to wait for the auto scroll? What's happening here? Checkpoint. That's nice at least. Gotta go for the extra challenge with the big coins. Oh god, that was completely blind. I got lucky there. But yeah, like all of this lack of sleep has really been messing with my mental health and I'm just exhausted all the time and like it sucks now too because I'm on holidays for the summer, but yeah, maybe it won't be so bad come the fall. Who knows? Who knows at this point? Sandy Dunes 1 Stranded. Was the other one the second level and this is the first level? I wasn't paying attention to the name of the first one. Why is Bingo Bo so obsessed with... Dry Bone Shells? Also, is this the exact same level that we just played, but now it's with wind? Well, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same level. Oh man, that was close too. God, I hate the wind so much. Okay, well, I think the checkpoint was down here in the last level. It's not here anymore. Let's check the pipe. There's checkpoints. Ooh, that was close. The second half of the level feels different, but I swear the first half was the same. Come on! Come on! Nice. 
Nice. Oh, there's still more. Why is there still more? And why the auto scroll? Oh my god! The end was right there! Okay. Like, I, I don't understand how are you supposed to make that jump when the wind is blowing you. I would say the wind is my second least favorite mechanic in this game. Mechanic, gimmick, whatever you want to call it. Like, yeah, I get that you can do some cool things with the wind. Especially if you're like using power-ups and stuff, but for the most part, wind for the sake of wind is not very enjoyable. So I'm going to try to go and just make it onto that last beetle. Okay, so that is what you have to do. You just have to go and... There's like a tiny window before the wind starts blowing again, where you should be able to make it. Has anybody seen, there's like this thing that I've seen on, like maybe it's Facebook or Instagram or something like that, where these restaurants have these, it's like a, a cutout of like different sizes and the sm the smaller the size that you can fit through the bigger the discount you get at the restaurant or something like that so if you're like something like skinny like 90 pounds or something like that you get like a hundred percent off your meal if you're like a bigger guy maybe you'll get like 10 or 20 percent off i've seen that i've come across this picture quite a few times lately on like facebook or instagram or something like that Oh my god, just jump! Please jump! It's a China-Japan thing? Yeah, could be. Yeah, right before I went live, I just watched Canada win the semifinals in the Rugby Sevens, which they've had two upsets in a row in the playoffs. They beat France, and this morning they beat Australia, which is mind-blowing. Like, I don't know how good Canada is at Rugby Sevens, but... I mean, I feel like Australia is a powerhouse for sure. France is the host country, and I'm pretty sure both of them are ranked higher in the world rankings than Canada is. But I don't know where Canada is ranked, so I couldn't say. But yeah, we're going to be in the finals this afternoon, so definitely going to stop before then because I do want to watch that game. Come on! Come on, man! I was right there. I always like watching just events that we don't normally get to watch, like basketball and like soccer and stuff like that. You can watch that whenever you want. Like, it's on all year, but something like, for example, Canada won a medal in fencing. And fencing is never on TV, but it was kind of interesting to watch, even though I didn't necessarily understand everything that was going on. But how did we beat Australia at rugby? It was honestly very impressive. Like we were losing 12 nothing in the first half. And I watched the round before this where we beat France and the Australia game was after our game and Australia dominated I think they're playing Ireland they like completely dominated them and I'm like we have no chance of beating them in the semis and then for whatever reason oh man for whatever reason um yeah we just we turned it on in the second half against Australia and managed to pull out the win we won 21 to 12 but yeah the fencing was pretty interesting um, I watched judo yesterday, which was interesting. Canada won a gold in that.
and I had no idea that we had such a high ranked judo athlete like she, I think she's ranked number one in the world they were saying she's won two world championships although judo I found not to be that interesting because the majority of the judo matches that I watched the people only won because the other person got too many penalties. There were a couple of people that won, like, from tossing their opponent, but... Oh my god, finally. Finally we're out of this level. Um... But yeah, a lot of the judo was just... They were losing in overtime on penalty sort of thing, and that's how our Canadian won the gold medal too. It was very... Very weird. I'm not going to give this one a like. <laughs> I'm just happy to be out of here. Level 3. Well, I guess this is level 2. Darkness on Dusk. They're planning having some people swim in the Seine. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They're planning on doing... Oh, there goes my shell. They were planning on doing the triathlon in the Seine. And, or, um, yeah, the swimming part in the Seine. And they've already delayed the triathlon to allow it to uh, depollute itself, I guess. My greatest fear is flying buzzies and wind in one level. Yeah, you're not wrong. So many things about Mario Maker that I dislike, all combined into one neat little package. Alright, well I think I'm going to bait you off the cliff. Yeah, so they've delayed the triathlon just by a day, I think. I think it's going to be tomorrow or Thursday now or something. They're making them swim in sewage water. I mean, but the athletes want to do it too, so... It's not even that they're making them, but the athletes are... They're like, yeah, we don't care, we'll swim in the sin the Seine. So... Oh, can I even get that 10 coin? Oh yeah, I can. Shoot. They spent a million or two billion cleaning it up. They did, yeah. They in they had a whole... Um, like a cleaning system plant thing. Which is making it a lot cleaner, but... I mean, they can only do so much, I guess. But yeah, they are cleaning it up. The water is like in more safe at a safe level, but because of the rain that they had in the opening day, they um, the rain contributes more bacteria into the river, they were saying, which makes it harder to process, which is why the levels are higher, which is why they are delaying the triathlon right now. All right, our next extra level wires and shelves. Sewage system isn't just great at all because of all the rain before. Yeah, something like that. Wait, what am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? Okay, I need to focus. Why do I keep hitting that so fast? There we go, that's what I wanted. Thank god there's no cape in this one. Oh, we needed to go down there. Shoot. Well... This is a bit of a design flaw, because there should be a reset door if you screw that up. There we go. Just needed to focus on that one. Oh, checkpoint. Well, that's nice. Wait, do I want door or do I want pipe? Try door, I guess. Oh, so we're hitting the POWs.
Well, this is way easier than the last one. Now what? I didn't even notice that it activated a P-switch at all. Aw, oh, but now I can't go up there. Oh, I think that's just to hit the P-switch, actually. I don't know what happened there either. Grab a few extra coins here. Well, that didn't boost me at all to the finish line. Yeah, I mean, this level wasn't bad. Thankfully, like I said, it was a lot easier than the World 1 bonus. I already gave it a like before. Temple Showdown. Collect all five big coins. Oh, we got ourselves a dry bone shell again. The famous Bingo Bow dry bone shell. Back for a limited time only. Well, what's the point of this section there on the left? I feel like that's going to be death if I go down there. Whoops! Welp! <laughs> Didn't see that coming. What's this pipe down here? Moles? Just moles? This is not an NSMB1 Super World. World 1, I believe, was all Super Mario World theme. And this World 2 is SMB1. At least I think it has been. I honestly haven't been paying close attention. I'm just thankful I'm in a section where there's no wind for once. Okay, so we'll do that. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, there's a door down here. Gotcha. Guess I'll go for the 10 coin. Well, at least I got rid of the mole that was up there. Hey, I got a shell back. Oh shoot, I need both keys. Thank god I can go back. There we go. What is this quote-unquote boss fight? Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Did World 1 even have a boss fight? I don't remember whatsoever. I don't remember fighting a boss at all. I don't know where this is going, but I feel like we should follow it. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I mean, thank god there was ground down there, at least. 
Nice. At least we got the extra life at the end. So I think this is where I stopped my initial playthrough the first time. So I think everything from here on out might be brand new, but I also could be totally wrong about that.